congratulations on your purchase of the Classic Press. With their impressive range of standard features, the Classic Presses will give you professional results with minimum effort. Ironing the laundry is one of the most time-consuming household tasks we face. But now, thanks to the Classic Press, you've taken a major step towards reducing the amount of time you spend doing the family ironing. Our leisure time is precious, so using the press will give you more free time to do the things you most enjoy. In this video, we'll take you step by step through the wonderful features of the Classic Ultra and the Classic Compact Presses, from getting started to troubleshooting. Basic features and working methods differ from model to model. Therefore, it is always wise to refer to your instruction book before use. The classic press is best used on a level, flat surface, such as a table or worktop. Make sure that any surface you intend to work on is clean, free from moisture and well secured. The press can also be used from either a standing or sitting position. One is able to reduce the ironing time by up to 50% due to the large iron or press surface. Power consumption is low and the machine is connected to the mains power with a 13 amp plug. The classic presses are very simple to use. So let's take a look at some of their features. The classic presses have a Teflon coated pressing plate which greatly reduces overheated fabrics melting onto the pressing plate. The pressing handle is used for raising and lowering the pressing plate. The pressing plate is temperature controlled for the heating and pressing of the fabric and pulls down onto the ironing board. The padded surface holds the fabric in place during pressing. The on-off switch will control the electrical power to the machine. A light comes on when the switch is pressed to the on position. The ready light will glow when the presses reach the desired temperature. The temperature control dial allows you to select the appropriate temperature for any fabric, from nylon to linen. We'll look at these temperature settings in greater detail a little later in the program. The classic press can be used as a dry or steam iron. Please refer to your instruction book for either of these methods. The water tank fill hole and the cap of the classic ultra press allows easy access for filling. And the water level window lets you see how much water is in the tank. The water tank of the classic compact press is pulled out from under the ironing board to expose the tank fill hole. The transparent wall allows you to see how much water is in the tank. The locking knob will hold the pressing plate and board together. The pressing handle must be in its lower position to do this. This is the base for the press. It provides a stable platform with rubber feet when using the press on a worktop or table. Now that you're familiar with the press and all of its controls, we feel that it's important to talk about some of the classic press's unique safety features. Of course, it goes without saying that the classic presses have been rigorously tried and tested and carry a CE approval for use in the European community. You must always use the steam press for its intended purpose only and check that the electrical information contained in the information booklet agrees with your power supply. Never immerse the press in any liquid. This could cause an electrical shock. Make sure that the press is always turned off before plugging it in or unplugging it from the power point. The cord must never touch hot surfaces. This is particularly important if you are using it on a worktop, close to a cooking appliance or when standing close to a heat source. The press must always be completely cold before being stored away, with the cord looped loosely and put into the base cord holder. Look after the cord and never allow it to become damaged in any way. Always fill or empty the water from the tank before connecting the press to the power point or once you have unplugged it. We'll show you how to do this a little further on in the program. 
only use the press from your chosen PowerPoint. For the same reason, you should avoid using an extension cord. Never use the steam press outdoors. We strongly recommend that you refer to your instruction manual for the audio safety alarm and auto shut-off features for each press. So, assuming you're going to want to use the steam facility, now is the time to fill the water tank before the machine is plugged in. There is no need to use distilled water. Tap water will be suitable. When filling the classic Ultra Press's water tank, tighten the drain knob. Unscrew the cap and put it in a safe place. Using the water container, which is fitted with a filter at the end of the pouring spout, slowly pour up to 300 cc's of water into the fill hole. Replace the cap and tighten it. Mopping up any spilled water with an absorbent cloth or kitchen towel. Check the water level. Pull out the classic compact press's water tank to expose the fill hole. Using the water container, slowly pour the water into the fill hole. Check the water level as you pour the water into the tank. Mop up any spilled water with an absorbent cloth or kitchen towel. Always remember to empty the water tank again if you're going to store the press away for any length of time. It's good practice to get into the habit of following the switching on procedure each time you use the press. So, making sure that the on-off switch is in the off position, hold the pressing handle with one hand and release the locking knob with the other. Lift the pressing plate into the fully open position. Once you've done this, plug the press into your electrical outlet. Press the on-off switch into the on position and the light will come on.